Skateboarding derailed my life in a beautiful way and I have no regrets. You know, Aristotle said, if we are the playthings of the gods, then let us live a life of this play. I'm going to go in with a few scars to show I embraced life and really enjoyed it. I have a relationship with my skateboard. It's evolved from a plaything to a sport to community service, almost to a religion, you might say. It's a magical rolling board, and although the wheels are pretty small, it's amazing how many miles it can take you. Because I'm a freestyle skateboarder, a lot of my tricks these days look so old to kids who are skating that some of them actually think that they're new, which is awesome. So I kind of fool my sort of, uh, my, my friends' kids sometimes because they think I'm like uh, up on kind of contemporary skateboarding but I'm like just a dinosaur. I kind of feel like I'm in, stuck in a bit of a skateboarding time machine where I can bust out a skateboarding routine that comes straight out of like 1988 and I'm still trying to keep those tricks alive. So I feel like I'm like a living skateboarding museum just from that period of time, from the late 80s. That's kind of my goal in life, to keep those tricks for as long as I can. I think I saw a, a couple of videos. Uh, I remember seeing some stuff and that just got me completely involved in it. I saw what professional skateboarders were doing at that particular time. It just inspired me so much that I wanted to make it my life. It was just this all-consuming activity. Well, back when I started in the 50s, to measure a skater's ability, it was how many spins you could do on a skateboard. How many 360s? Well, I could only do one or two for my first 25 years, but when I started entering contests, I knew I needed to improve my skills. You know, it doesn't take talent, it just takes time. And unless you're willing to give your life to a project, you'll never gain your life. Well, I, I find skateboarding an art form because I don't make a distinction between artists and skateboarders. It's the, the kind of creative objectives of like a skateboarder or any athlete that's as good as they can possibly be, that pushes their boundaries, that doesn't really see any physical limitation and if they do they want to excel, exceed, push and define new space. That's exactly what an artist does. You know, they're just uh, operating in different realms but they have these uh, connected sort of, I guess, objectives or goals. The idea of just developing and pushing a language and uh, taking risks. It, it, it all starts to sound like art to me.